Hey guys, what's up? This is Rocky Diniz and today I'll be talking about word tokenizer. So in this video, you'll learn how you can separate a sentence into separate words. So, uh, so let's get started. All right. Uh, so let's get into a Python console as usual. And after you do that, what you need to do is uh, you just need to type from NLTK dot tokenize uh, import word underscore tokenize. So as usual, it is uh, something similar to the sent underscore tokenize, which you saw in the previous video. So what you can do is you can just directly go ahead and uh, use this. So let's say uh, word underscore tokenize, I give a, uh, a sentence called, this is Rocky hacking your PC. All right, so as you can see, when I press enter, I get uh, separate words. So I can save it as an area, as I was saying. So you can uh, save anything. So let's say this is Rocky hacking your PC. All right, so I can save it as an array and I can access it at any time. So hacking appears to be the fourth element. So anyways, this is just one way. So there are other ways as well. So there is something called a uh, tree bank tokenizer and there is something called word punk punked tokenizer. And there's also something called punked word tokenizer. So, uh, but there's an issue with uh, punked word tokenizer in uh, versions, which are uh, NLTK versions, which are uh, more than uh, 3.01 or something like that, 3.0.1. So I won't be able to show you punked word tokenizer but i'll be able to show you the other ones so let me just uh, clear this and i'll just uh, show you again so i'll enter python and then uh let's say from nltk dot tokenize import word underscore tokenize again and then let's say from nltk dot tokenize import now something called tree bank uh word tokenizer so yeah so tree bank word tokenizer is a method. So this is uh, this comes directly from the tokenizer uh, uh, factory of uh, you know functions. So we can uh, say tokenizer two. So also uh, let's say tok two tokenizer two is equal to tree bank uh, word tokenizer with a uh, uh, with a parenthesis. So this has been saved. So also we can. Uh, <coughs> import others uh, so uh, so let's say from ldk dot tokenize we can import uh, word punk uh, tokenizer just like we have imported and then I can name it uh, tokenizer 3 and I can just say word punk tokenizer I can save it as uh, I mean as I can save it in the short form so yeah so right now I have three different functions to tokenize a sentence into words so let's see how it functions. So let's say we have a sentence. So sentence uh, uh, one is equal to something like, hi, my name is Rocky, All right? So let, let's just see how it works with each of them. So let's see word underscore tokenize sentence one. Uh, so yeah, it is telling us, uh, hi, my name is Rocky. It is uh, separating out all the words. And if at all I do that with tokenizer2 this way, so, oops, sorry. So you have to call it this way, tokenizer2.tokenize and then send uh, one. All right, so as you can see over here, you have a uh, hi, my name is Rocky again. So similarly, tokenizer3.tokenize, uh, uh, you can give, and you can see that this also works fine. So yeah, note this down here. So word uh, tokenize, why am I using tokenize here is that uh, word tokenize is directly a method, but uh, whatever I have saved over here, talk to and talk three are not uh, the di direct methods which I can just use. So that's why I get a type error saying that this object is not callable because I have to use its object. I mean, it's its own method. I can directly use the object. All right, so as you can see, uh, we have three results, so we have three different results. We have uh, uh, fr uh, from sentence one, we have separated them out into individual words. But where does the difference come? 
So the difference comes when you have uh, sentences like, I mean, sentences which have words like, you know, which have contractions like uh, can't, shan't, or will not, won't. I'm not sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, not will not. So won't basically. So let's see how it works for that, uh, for those kind of contractions. So I'll just uh, create a sentence called I will, uh, okay. I won't let you uh, bring cake. All right. So let's see sentence two is I won't let you bring cake. And let me just uh, uh, use the word underscore tokenize first. So let's see how it works. Oops, sorry. All right. So as you can see over here, I won't let you bring cake is being separated, but uh, even won't is being separated into two different words. So wo is saved as a word and n hyphen t is saved as another word. So these are like, uh, this is not a proper way of, uh, you know, separating out your contractions. But anyways, uh, that uh, word and sport is uh, used a uh, lot. And uh, you can also, uh, let, let's check out uh, the tokenizer 2, which is uh, tree bank word tokenizer. So let's say tok2.tokenize uh, center 2. All right, so in here, you see that it has similar, it has the same kind of, uh, I mean, it is giving you the same uh, uh, output. So let's see how the third tokenizer uh, differs. Oops, sorry. Uh, all right. So as you can see over here, we have I won't let you bring cake. It's being separated in such a way that the word called won't is taking three positions. So if you see the first one is W O N. I mean, the first one is I after that W O N. And then there is a, a hyphen. I'm sorry. And uh, an apostrophe and uh, there is T so the word itself is being separated into three different parts so this is how the third one which is word punct tokenizer saves it so it actually takes out your punctuations and saves them as separate entities there's another thing called uh, punct uh, word tokenizer so this is a bit separate from uh, your word punct uh, tokenizer so, but uh, unfortunately, I won't be able to show you uh, because it's not uh, working. So if at all, I say from NLTK dot uh, tokenize import punk word tokenizer, it is telling me that it cannot import the name for punk word tokenizer because of some problem. I'm not sure yet, but yeah, uh, you can use this uh, with the lower downgraded version. So that will work. And that will give a uh, slightly different uh, output. What it will do is that it will mix the hyphen, sorry, uh, the apostrophe and T. It will mix them both and then it will uh, uh, output them as a single word. So what you'll be getting is I and then one and then apostrophe T and then let and then you and something like that. All right, guys, this is a simple way how you can tokenize your words and how you have a lot of choice. Uh, I mean, you have a choice, you have a variety of choice. So you can use uh, whatever word tokenizer that seems fit and go ahead and you can uh, separate your sentences into words and use them. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching this Rocky Days and I'll be back with another video. Uh, give it a thumbs up, thumbs up if you liked it and also share this video. Thanks a lot guys, bye bye.